The guys are back for the toilet. And now, back to our show. Voss. Rich Voss hanging around. We got Mark Marin joining the show. Mark Marin came in here and just entertained the hell out of us. And I'm yeah, like, gotta Mark, go, you got to like do. Thanks. You got to do some of this for the good, the good audience times. too. My God. I will. We got a private show for Mark Marin. It was terrific. Just talking about the podcast and flying and all. Well, that was the thing. I was in Buffalo, and you know, <laughs> Buffalo is an underrated city. It gets a bad really? rap. Yeah, no, I. I, I lived there for three years. I did not. Yeah. Yeah. I lived there for three years. What are you talking Doing about? Radio. Yes. So what? What my feeling was? I felt like right. I was in prison for three years. But there, <laughs> it seems like there was some trouble. And that the, there's some economic problems, it's, some strife. Yeah, but there's a charm to it. The people are oh. beaten down. They're beaten down. They're very pleasant. <laughs> they, they're broken. Yeah, they're broken and yeah, happy. Yeah. If, if I was ever close to being an alcoholic, it was when I was in Buffalo for three years. Well, that's how they make alcoholics. It's made in Buffalo. Jägermeister <laughs> shots was the that was like taking vitamins in that fucking city. But there's, I know I'm not in a good place where I'm driving around. Like I rented a car because I want to go to see Ni- Niagara Falls. Nice. And I'm driving around, and I, I this is how I. No, I'm not in a good place because I'm like I could live here. You know, oh, wow, you really? could get a house for a nickel. You know, I could, <laughs> I could probably make very... do up here. I could work out of my house. Very inexpensive. But uh, the hotel I stayed at, I, it was it, it actually had the had the personality of a of a recovering heroin addict. Yeah, yeah. You know when you walk into a place and you're like, oh, this was bad. So something happened here. <laughs> <laughs> like the whole place has the, an evil vibe. Well, right, to because it. they redid a... it, but there's some of the shit you can't cover yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I just, what I hotel? Was, the Lafayette. Wait, I think that's the. It looks like a house. No, no, it's this huge, old, glorious place. Oh, okay, never mind. But oh. it feels like there, there was a halfway house vibe and right. smell that you couldn't get out of there. Like I just pictured walking down the hall to my room. That at some point, some woman was running down this hallway saying, "He's got a gun!" <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's and a Buffalo. Bunch of, bunch of junkies were walking by, going, "Oh, she's pissed again. Wonder right. what's going on." But uh, <laughs> they got that one street that's kind of nice. I, I thought uh, it was sort of, nice. Sort of near downtown where all the clubs are, a few yeah. restaurants that try to make a little scene down there. New Street's great in Buffalo, Route 90, because it yeah. takes you yeah, out of Buffalo. <laughs> you, were, you were there. You didn't, you, didn't, you didn't like the city at all? I like Buffalo. I like uh, the fans, but it's like I couldn't live there. Everything looked like it was built in 1984 because of the weather damage it takes. Oh, oh right. Yeah, everything yeah. has to be rebuilt. Oh. Everything is rebuilt. It's, like, it's like Winnipeg. Yeah. Yeah. God hates it. Just crushing it with weather. <laughs> and you weren't up there during the snowy season, no, which beautiful. is pretty much nine was, months of the year. It was beautiful weather. Okay. And... And uh, you know, but I. But you we know, love Buffalo. We love our fans up there. No, they yeah you know, they force you. I've never seen someone. I've never seen a town more committed and and loyal to, oh. to bar food, as as Buffalo is. Yay! Thank you, Sydney. What is that smoothie? Yeah. What's wrong, Sam? Our intern, Sydney. Intern. Anthony, thank you. Didn't even bring, <laughs> bring him anything. Well, just thank her for. You know, it's you a, know what? It's a she new day around here. A little sunshine into the room is what she did. You're a bummer. That's what I'm saying. You're a bummer. You, you, don't change your attitude, Sam. Yeah. you just look at things on the surface. You don't appreciate the whole picture. Yep. E-Rock's been here for, like, how long now? Nine, ten years. Oh, wow. And he just got smashed for wearing a shirt with a collar on it. <laughs> and all, the, all you have to do is walk in here and be a girl, and you get a, yeah. They're, they're wonderful. All right. Girls? Yeah. Yeah. Jim Rose. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. Mark, generally yeah. speaking. Yeah. So Buffalo is cool to you. Yeah, no, I, 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 you know, I was into it. I drove. I went to see uh, Niagara Falls. I rented a car. And when you drive to Niagara, I've never. I don't think I, I, I. Maybe I was there with one wife, but I think I erased all the memories. Oh shit! Yeah, they just yeah, gone. Yeah, I, I have a vague recollection of wearing a poncho and getting wet, but that could have been anything. <laughs> the maid of the <laughs> mist is right. something you got to do. You do, right? I so, loved it, but and I don't you, like tours. But shit. did you drive? Through Niagara, that is the saddest fucking town. <laughs> wow. Like, you literally drive through <laughs> four blocks of this decimated, pathetic, hopeless town to where, you know, it's a good setup for the falls because either you're going to be like, thank God, or I'm going to jump the fuck in. You know, like the, you know, the, so I get to the falls, and they're not disappointing. There's no, no way. it's amazing. Some sort of cynical, you got to be a cynical fuck to stand in front of Niagara Falls and go, I get it, just keeps coming. Right. Yeah. What the heck? <laughs> it's pretty amazing. But I, uh, I got very. Did you go in the tunnels and stuff? I went on the boat. Oh, you gotta I got to go to the tunnels where you're right under the right, falls, right, looking right, through the falls, right, basically. Next time, next time. All right, sorry. sorry. I, uh, but I went to, uh, 
It, the, the weird thing was is that when you go to a tourist attraction, you, you start hating people immediately. Just yeah. like they're there with their kids. They're horrible. There's nine people. Like, how many tickets? You don't know how many kids you have? You know, like, and, and I'm just... <laughs> And I'm just hating them horribly. And then as you walk down, like I'm filled with contempt as I'm getting on this boat. And then you get to the boat, and everybody gets this garbage bag blue poncho. So now yeah, everybody's yeah. wearing these fucking garbage bags. And I'll tell you, man, you're on a boat with 100 people wearing garbage bags. hard to hate people because you all look ridiculous, right? So there's almost like a great equalizer. It's garbage bags. Yeah, guys. yeah. And, uh, you know, but I was uh, I was amazed at That's it. That's what the world know? needs. We just That's thought, if I we thought. all walked around with well, garbage bags. When there's a problem, I put people in saying. a garbage bag. Everybody look at yourself and everyone will calm the fuck down right but it, it was nice and you take the garbage bag off and you're right back to fuck these people <laughs> yeah. but i uh you know but i i did get stuck in buffalo and uh you know I, all i want to do is get home yeah I, and uh, it was a horrible because it was a nice day i thought i had it made i had to get home i had a, the 400th podcast went up yesterday Ooh. my 400th it's an anniversary congratulations it's a big that's, deal that's that is a, a lot of podcasts and yeah. i had uh, iggy pop on i'd already recorded the interview which was kind of hilarious because i was nervous about that i love that guy and uh -huh. I, you know i didn't know if he was cognizant or whether he could talk or you know what he was about and it was kind of weird because i'm waiting for him to come one limo comes. It's a publicist, and she's you know she's got heels on. She gets out. I walk her into my garage. I'm like, "Can he talk? Is he all right?" She's like, "Yeah, he loves talking." I'm like, fine. So then another limo pulls up, and Iggy's road manager gets out. His seven foot girlfriend gets out, and he's about to get out. And I'm standing there. I'm like, "Hey, how you doing, Iggy? You need anything? You need anything?" He goes, "I need to refresh." And I'm like, "I don't know what that means." Do huh? uh, you need coffee? Yeah, coffee, black, great, fine. I got that. Yeah, you need water? Water's good, but I need to refresh. And I'm like, okay, I'm not sure what that is. So we walk out to the back deck, and Iggy just starts, like, he's standing there, and there's, like, these four people he brought with him, and he's, like, stretching on my deck, and he's like, this is nice. And he's looking, he's almost doing, like, a weird dance. And then <laughs> within two the minutes, fuck? yeah, then within two minutes, the fucking shirt comes off. And I'm like, anyone else, that would be like, what is going on? But yeah, it's like, yeah, oh, yeah. No, he's just getting into Iggy. So then we go in to the garage. Well, I'm sitting there with a shirtless Iggy in my garage talking to him, and it didn't make any difference to me at all. There was a couple of points where he just started tweaking his nipple a little bit, and it was a little weird. Yeah. But I didn't, I didn't bring it up. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I didn't know if he was trying I to... I understand just... that from both of your points of view, actually. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that, he's a strange guy. No, but he was a, it was a great chat. Yeah. And it was a, why does it he was always a... has to... Why does he have to take his shirt off? He always? loves it. You know, he's, a, he's an animal. I don't think I've ever seen him with a shirt on. No. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. Take his shirt How off old is he? He's like... He's got to be like 70. Wow. And, and he's, he's, just, he's about five feet tall. He's like five foot two. Is he's he strong and small guy? Yeah, it's tremendous. You know, just uh, like seven foot tall, Asian, <laughs> huge boobs. Wow. Um, yeah, he's he's doing fine. Yeah. But the panic was I needed to get back from uh, from Buffalo to L.A. and um, they canceled my flight, American, because mm -hmm. it was a mechanical problem. And then you're sort of like, well, is there another flight? No, that's it. There's, there's no more leaving from us. You cannot yeah, leave. Yeah, so then I rebook on Delta through American with my platinum status. I'm like, you don't fucking understand. I'm platinum. Take care of me. They rebook me on Delta through Detroit. It leaves in like two hours. I'm like, great. Ten minutes after they book me on Delta, uh, through American, Delta calls me on the phone uh, with an automated call that's saying that the one out of uh, Buffalo is delayed two hours. The one out of Detroit is delayed five. And mm -hmm. I got to record. So now I'm fucked. So now I start thinking, like, I got my equipment with me. If I need it. I'm like, I'll record in Detroit. Iggy's from Detroit. I'll just go out into the streets and do it there. <laughs> like, that's how I'm thinking. I all give a shit. All I give a shit about is the podcast. And then finally, I just, I bought a JetBlue ticket to New York. And then they're like, that's delayed till seven. I'm like, is it going to get out of here? And they're like, the we fuck don't fucking. What's going on? And the weather was clear. And that's when I started hating Buffalo. I'm like, can't you get your shit together? Like, American Airlines doesn't give enough of a shit to fly a plane from Chicago an hour so I can get another plane out of that airport. Oh, boy. So I bought one at Delta, and this goes nowhere. Not but anyway, so I flew down here, and I recorded it in, in, in the fucking hotel room. But this is not the news. Oh, so I, you never got back to L.A.? No, I didn't. Obviously. And now I got to deal with, mm. uh, you know, I got to call the girl. Like, I'm not going to be back for another three days. She's like, it's all right. You're doing what you got to do. And then the next morning, it's like, eh, I only miss you. Uh, <laughs> here's the news. I asked her to marry me. Whoa! Whoa! Congratulations. Whoa! Yeah, wow. it's weird when it's your third time when people say congratulations. You're like, yeah, we'll see what happens. You know, oh. you've been with her for a while. Though. She, yeah, I've been with her for like three years. Yeah. There was a lot of pressure. So oh, there's yeah. been a lot of pressure, a lot of holding up the finger with the no ring, wow. and the, wow. the waving of the finger. And, uh, you know, finally I, I did it. I, you know, I took her out. Uh, I said, okay, we'll go look at rings. I don't want to buy you the wrong fucking ring. I can't live with that, you know, because I know this girl. If I bought her the, the wrong ring, it would have been just a nightmare. They, she was not going to be happy with any ring. Right. 
So I take her to this jewelry store, and we're looking at, uh, she shows me one that she likes. I'm like, all right, I get the idea. And I wasn't even sure when I was going to do it or if I was going to do it. But the next day, I went and bought that fucking ring. And I felt like, whether it happens or not, I'll take the hit if I have to sell this back. But I'm not going to oh, give her a fucking ring that she doesn't want. So she's got me by the balls pretty hard. I can't hard. believe you're Wait. doing this. I know. Is this your third marriage? It's... I know. I know. How, I know. how many times? Yeah, it's third. I, wait, all right, help me out. Wait, now let's talk about Wait, what's that? Wait, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to go back in, I'm trying to wait, go back wait, in time. Wait. I think after two, he said... Oh, yeah. we got tapes of he you. Has, no, I probably we got tapes of you. He has horrendous <laughs> marriage stories. Yeah. Yes, yes. Look, I, I, okay, all right. What's all right. different? What's different? What What is happening in I, your I'm head? I'm terrified of this one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think that you that's, are. That's. I, I think that's what's different. I'm, I'm terrified uh, and I'm concerned. <laughs> Man. Yeah, I don't think I know the difference between you know the warmth of rage when it surrounds my heart <laughs> and the warmth of love when it's it surrounds the my heart. Same thing. Yeah, I, I, I know that when I, the warmth of rage surrounds my heart, I'm thinking like "fuck you." But when the warmth of love surrounds my heart, I'm afraid of that. Uh -huh. So, so there's some mixture I have to find in the middle. But here's what happens: so I buy this yeah. ring and I decide I'm going to give it to her on her birthday, which is three weeks away. She knew it was coming though. Not really. I mean, I, I, it, it was a surprise to her. I don't think she really believed that I was going to do it. Mm. And I'm not, you know, I don't know that I did either, but I knew I was going to give it on, on her birthday. But it was hilarious because I bought that ring. I put it in the drawer and that ring just turned on this scrutiny. Like I knew it was out there and I knew I had it and I was planning on doing it. So every minute of every fucking day, I was like, all right, this is it. This is what I'm going to do. I'm watching her eyes. I'm watching her mouth. I'm watching what she says. I'm watching how she walks. I'm like, I don't know that that's a weird thing that walk, you know, like, like yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. it just turned on this thing in my head where it's like, are you fucking sure you're going to do this? You're never going to be sure, e Everything's right? under a microscope right, all of a sudden. Right. And then her birthday comes, and I didn't know how I was going to do it. I thought, yeah. like, why not just put it, because it's her first time. She wants to be excited. I'm a jaded fuck. You know, I want to try to make it good for her. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know how to give it to her. I knew I had to do something special, because she was talking about, like, are you going to put it in a champagne glass? I don't know why. I'm, all of a sudden, I'm doing Dice's Girls. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> No, but she said, you can put it in a champagne glass at dinner. And I'm like, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. I'm not going to do that because obviously you read that somewhere. So <laughs> so my thought was, why not just put it in the bed so she rolls over on it and goes, what's that? Ow. And then my friend Jonah said, well, then she might think you fucked someone else in your bed. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're asking to marry Holy shit. <laughs> but, uh, that's funny. Yeah, so, uh, so I decided, all right, I'm going to make her pancakes and, and work from there. And I, and I said, I'm going to make you pancakes for your birthday. I didn't even know if I had the shit for pancakes. It turns out I had the shit for pancakes. So I make pancakes, and I figure out I'm going to put the ring right on top of the center pancake. Oh. Like that. And But the problem was she was in bed. I had put the ring in the bedroom to follow through with the rolling over on it plan. Oh, okay. so, uh, so now she's in bed. I make her these fucking pancakes. And I'm like, why don't you come out and eat your pancakes? She's like, I thought I was getting breakfast in bed. No, formal breakfast today because I had to get the ring out of there. Yeah. So I force her out. You know, I'm like, just come on, eat at the table like a person. So she comes out, and I run back into the room to grab the ring. I put it in my in the pocket of my robe, and I come back out, and she goes, why would you run back to the room? And I don't know why I was caught off guard, but I swear to God, I said, I had to get something for my cock. That's what I said. <laughs> I don't even know why I That's... said that. But on some level, it's kind of true. Uh, it's 100% yeah. true. true. <laughs> yeah. So then I go into the kitchen. I stick that fucking ring right in the middle of the pancake, and I serve her the pancake. She starts crying. She's like, oh, my God. And I take it out of the pancake. I stick it on her finger. I go, will you marry me? She goes, ah! Ow, ow, hot! It's hot! Oh, no, it's... <laughs> <laughs> so I got to take the ring off because I burned her fucking finger with the ring. I don't know if that's a sign. Yeah, that's a... So I had to repropose. I'm like, all right, let's do it again. You, will you marry me? She's like, of course I will. Wow. And immediately, I'm like, what I do in my head? Oh. <laughs> Is there a date or anything? No, but like, it's, like I thought, you know, I always think it's going to buy me a little time. You know, she, Ooh, oh, fast track. It's amazing. No, no, she, now track. she's like, when do you want to talk about the, the uh, thing? But yeah. she doesn't want to have a big thing, which is nice. But I know she wants to have a baby. And I'm telling you, man, there's a feeling in my heart here. There's a wall. Uh -huh. There's a wall that I got to get through here. All right. Right. Like I know, like I, I'm very easily angered right now. You know, I just she, she, I should be excited. I'm getting married, but there, yeah. I'm just fucking terrified. And some oh. people are like, "Why are you doing it again?" She's like 19, 20 years younger than me, and I'm like, in my mind, it's like, what am, I, what else am I going to do? Just well, cycle through a bunch of like, you know, middle aged women. Yeah. Am I gonna, and, and with the occasional younger one that that thinks you know I'm going to teach her something or resolve some issue she has. You know, <laughs> I'm just going to do that for the rest of my life till my charm 
arm wears off and my game is gone uh, and I'm 65 jerking off by myself, <laughs> napping. Is that what I want? With no one to leave my money to? That sounds to? great. <laughs> that actually sounds perfect. <laughs> You're not going to have to turn out. Oh, my God. But, I, I, so, but the thing is, is like I think it's all going to happen and I have not had a child and I'm terrified of it. And oh, you, my and you God. Had one recently? I got two, yeah. My uh, youngest is eight months old. And you're my age, right? More or less. All yeah. right, all right. You easy. might have a couple on. <laughs> okay, I have a you might have a few on. All right, I got a three-year-old too. Yeah, so uh, like, and I just hope she, because there's some part of me like with her where I'm like, I'm still having issues with the girl with the fiance. Where yeah, I'm like, yeah. I'm still saying to her, "Are you gonna clean up your room?" I mean, I say that. To her. <laughs> oh wow, yeah. So yeah. now my concern is I'm gonna have a baby. I'm like, what do I got to clean up after both of you? Oh you know, like, yeah, you do. You do right. Yeah. But they they snap out of it, right? They become mothers and they lock in. Am I right? Tell me I'm right. Lock in. Uh, yeah, they become motherly. Oh, sure. Boy. But they do the thing, right? I'm not going <laughs> to... What thing? I don't know. Like, Which thing? The, the thing with the baby. The, they'll take care of the baby. They will? Yeah. Very motherly. You're going to have to get in there every once in a while and change the diaper or no, something. No, no, I know I'm going to have to do almost right. everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, you know, they'll, they, you know, like if the kid doesn't like me, she'll, right? Yeah, yeah. They'll, yeah, they'll gravitate for oh, the mom. Hell, you know, Bobby man. Kelly just had a baby, too. Mark. He's my age too, right? Isn't he? A little younger, probably. No, he's probably a few. He probably was like forty. Did you always want to be a father? No, I never thought about it. <laughs> you just never thought about it. <laughs> no thoughts all these years. I, I always wanted to, but I was always with the wrong fucking people. I'm a selfish fucking and, person, mm. and I think I just learned how to care about some people in in general. I think yeah. that you know, between the podcast and the humbling from the second wife and everything, it forced me to open my heart a bit. And like I really care about this girl. I never really felt that before. Like I'm, oh. it's almost like uh, like I care about her in an unusual way. You, you yeah. know, like I'm concerned about you, you know, I'm I'm running around like I don't, I'm having a hard time. Oh this. wow, you're. You're yeah, in. I'm, You're I, in I, deep. Yeah. You're running yeah. around what? Yeah, just, you know, like, are you okay, baby? Do you want me to go get you some food? It's called love. He's in love. Yeah, but, I mean, it's not uh, like she's a, like a... I say she, just fucking she's not, go with She's it. not handicapped, and I'm treating her like, I'm like, you, you, what, you don't want to leave the house? I'll go. Oh, I'll go you want to do eat. things Oh, wow, you're in right. love, man. It's one of those things that oh, seems wow. codependent, but it's actually love. Right. I, I don't know, Jim. <laughs> I, you know, yeah, I'm, you're I'm in a deep level of love. I say fuck it, just go with it. Just you got to get out now. Don't do it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> just fucking have a kid and just go with it. We already it. had the horrible fight. You know, that, like, did? Like, like, like days after. Uh, the engagement? <laughs> yeah, it was horrendous. Wow. Oh, really? It was horrendous. Why Usually that puts you in a nice fucking, you know, spot for a while. Well, it was a good spot for a couple of days, but I took her. <laughs> days? <laughs> Oh man, what happened? I, I took her with me on a on a thing. You know, I was doing these book events, you know, and and I wanted her to go because I thought it'd be nice. She hadn't really been sure. to Washington D.C. right, so you know, it was a uh, it was a uh, it was D.C. and then New York and then Boston. So we get to D.C. and well, I don't know what it is about traveling, but we fucking ridiculous fights when we travel. Huh. But here we are in D.C. and I just want to show her around because I, I mean I've grown to really appreciate D.C. Whatever the hell goes on there is one thing, but the fucking museums and the monuments, oh, awesome. I mean, yeah. you got to go check it out, Absolutely. right? So I'm like, I'm going to show you, yeah, and I'm impressed. You know, this is not like an age thing. I mean, she's 20 years younger than me, but it's not like yeah, Washington's for old people. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. it's the fucking yeah. capital of the country. So we're walking around, and you know, and, and she had mentioned that she saw some Smithsonian stuff in the museum movies, the night of the museum movies. She said, "Yeah, that <laughs> one of them." Oh no! <laughs> that one of them had the the plane from Kitty Hawk. I'm like, oh, we'll go to Iron Space. The, you yes, know, I've never Aaron's been there. Space. Great. So we go there, and I'm walking around. I never knew what a fucking guy I am, but you know, I, I'm not even a, a plane guy. But you go there, you're like, look oh, at that great. jet. Yeah, it's, it's a rocket. Rocket. Oh, it's it's all kinds of great My stuff. My dick feels huge yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> so we walk around there, and then we leave, and then I'm like. We we got to go to the, the Museum of the American Indian because they have the best food. There's a food court at the Museum of the American Indian where they have, like, indigenous foods from all the tribes. And it's, like, all very interesting and it's real good food. And oh, it's wow. known to be. And she's like, I'm probably not going to want to eat there. Uh, and I'm uh, like, because she's like, I'm not hungry. But they, and she's vegetarian, but they're going to have stuff for you. And she's like, I'm probably not, but we can go. So in my mind, I think, well, she's probably going to want to get something to eat, right? So this uh, is as simple as it goes. Oh, this is simple. No. So we go to this place, and I'm like looking around, because I love looking at food. You know, like I can go just walk around and look at fucking food, and it's great. So we walk in. I'm like, oh, my God, look at all this weird shit. There's squash, and there's like there's maize. Stew. Yeah, maize. <laughs> so you can eat maize. It's vegetarian. Maize, right. maize. Maize. And then she She's like, you know, I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna get something. You want to get something? I got a lot of vegetarian stuff. She says, I told you I wasn't gonna want to eat here. Oh. And I was like, fuck it, I don't want to eat here either. And then the next oh. thing I know, we're in front of the Museum of the American Indian, 
and she's storming off. She's like, I told you I didn't want to eat there. I'm like, don't fucking run away. Like, loud. Like, people are starting oh, to look. Oh, and she's like, an, I'm not doing this. I'm scene. not talking to you like this. I'm like, like what? Like what? Oh, you can't. No. I just wanted you to see Washington, and you're not. You're going to fucking do this? Oh, you're going to no. storm away? And, like, she's, like, running away because I'm the yelling guy now. And I'm trying to do it like, you know, like, God, don't you fucking. Yeah, but you're and making a scene. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> there wasn't a lot of people there. But she's making it, too. It's not all you're on right, me. Right, right. I'm not going to take that. Uh -huh. But I did not have to say, you know, I'm fucking done with this. Give me the fucking ring. No. I did. You After said that. like two days or maybe a week. A week? Because when this happened, they both thought, is this what it's going to be forever? Right. This fucking asshole dragging me around to shitty Indian places. Right. And you're going, <laughs> I can't even fucking take her for some culture. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was horrible. I did a horrible thing. Yeah. I did a horrible thing. She's like, oh, real, fuck you. And she gives it to me. And then she storms off. And I storm uh, off. And now we're walking on opposite sides. She called you side. Indian giver? That would have been like ironic. <laughs> right out in front of the place. I oh, wish, yeah. I wish I'd thought of that. That would have been a good one. <laughs> Break the <laughs> so now we're walking on opposite sides of the mall in Washington. She's, you know, crying over on her side. I'm walking on mine, knowing I did this shitty thing, and that now I just made it unstable, and I did the worst thing I could possibly do. And I'm like, but, you know, fuck it. She didn't want to eat there. You know? <laughs> so I'm just storming down the mall. Holy and, I'm, I'm, and, I, and I'm sort of pacing her. I'm, I'm watching her walk away. On the other side, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and then she texts me. She's like, I love you. What are we doing? Oh. And then I'm like, I love you, too. I'll meet you in front of the Capitol. <laughs> so, so we met in front of the Capitol. I put the ring back on her finger and asked her to marry me again. So I, did, I did that three times. Three <laughs> In a week. With the same ring. In a week. Yeah. So what, what did you want to eat? Holy shit. Huh? That great? What did you wind up eating? Oh, mm. fuck. What did we do? Uh, we went to, she wanted to go see the dinosaur bones. And, uh, you know, then we had, she, she wanted Chipotle. So that's What's that? Chipotle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What? I saw, uh, Dad, yeah, if you, when was the last time you looked at dinosaurs? It's not, it's not nothing. I, I mean, love dinosaurs. <laughs> like, like a month ago. I really? Love In New York. Yeah. You got kids? You yeah. Got dinosaurs. But it's amazing. <laughs> one in my yard. Yes. <laughs> Do you? Yeah, well, I, got, I, got a, I got one of those, like... Five, yeah, we'll show you. Five and a half foot <laughs> velociraptors. Oh, you do really? And I put it by my jacuzzi. Really? Yeah. 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 It's like you really in the... love dinosaurs. I love no, dinosaurs. No, he loves children. <laughs> <laughs> children love dinosaurs. <laughs> 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 Got to get the kids into the jacuzzi. It's terrible. Dinosaur bones. There, there, it is. Is. there you go. There's his There's, dinosaur. Uh, oh, that's great. My little dinosaur. I just keep when you when you look at great. him, you're like, holy fuck! You know, and this was a millions and millions of years ago. It's hard. Yeah. You know, it's a weird moment of like you're very impressed, but you're also like oh, we're doomed. I mean, uh, if, set. If, these yeah, yeah. if these fucking things die right, for whatever right. reason, just to imagine that they, out of nowhere. that they were actually there at some point. They actually yeah, lived and crazy. walked around. It's like, that's a monster. That's a real life monster. Yeah, I, and it was walking the earth. I just hate they put the dates on. I'm like, oh, really? This that is long like ago? 80 billion years ago? But also, when you see the ones <laughs> that were in the ocean, that's why I don't go right. in the ocean. Because oh, in my man. mind, a couple of them have to be out you there. They're still there. Yeah, they've got to be out and there. And they're like as big as this building. Like fucking giant teeth. That scares me. Shit out of me. Monsters under the water. Yeah, don't I, can, know. I can't even go into a pool at night. We don't know at night. <laughs> yeah, it's, I can't see the bottom. Like creepy down there. Got in the pool. You don't know what's in there when you go in the ocean. It's like Horrendous. you look down. It's Horrendous. got this weird. You could see a little bit down here, but I'm yeah, not yeah, going to yeah. show you much. The ocean does not tip its hand. <laughs> you fucking in there. It's all based on what? faith. And the light is what? Only 200 feet, I think? Yeah, After that, it's is. just complete fucking darkness. It's oh, it's sad. horrible. It's a horrible feeling. Those people that can just jump off boats and swim around, oh, I can't God. talk <laughs> about it. We, we, we took a lot of boats across Lake Erie. And, Even uh, in a lake, right? You're we would stop in the middle, and uh, you know the tunes are cranking, and we go for a swim, yeah. and we would we would take our showers because it's fresh water. Yeah. And when you dive off that boat, you're like, "What the fuck is staring right back right. at me?" I was right. petrified. Uh, I'm yeah. not even gonna make believe. And then I yeah. would swim around the boat, just keep the boat nice and close. Yeah. A real fucking wimp. If you looked at where you were and what, how big you were, if you Compared drained to, all oh the water God, yeah. and just put you in in midair where the water would be, you're you're like hovering over mountain ranges, uh, sure, and and all kinds of goodies are down there, right? right. Big monsters. You're a speck. But if you close your eyes, it's all good. 
Yeah, I mean, you oh, keep man. your eyes closed when you the, jump in. Right, the odds are with you probably in a lake. Because I don't want to open that eye and see some yeah. blurry shit coming at me. Oh, <laughs> but in a lake, God. what's the worst it could be? A giant catfish? <laughs> True. Right? catfish. I don't know. I think they, uh, well, there's no yeah. sharks in the lake. No. There's no dragons. They got some shit. Have you seen, what's that show on TV? The River Susan Monsters? Smith's van? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> River Monsters is a great show. Her River kids. Monsters. <laughs> with the zombie kids eating yeah. your teeth. Oh, God. Like, what is that? It's windshield wipers hitting you in the toes. <laughs> nibbling on you. You see the alligator turtle thing? No. It's, it looks no. like it's fucking in like the river dinosaur. Monster? Yeah. I'm I don't Italian. know the name of it anymore, but oh. yeah. they're it's out there. Fucking, what about it, the guys? Great. We talk about it from time to time on our show, the guys that go noodling. Would you do what, that? I don't know what noodling is. I, I've I never know. heard of noodling. Oh, like, yeah, I thought the, it was a guitar term. They yeah, fuck, you noodle around. Around. Guitar. They go in these swamps and these river beds, yeah. and they go for the catfish. Is it catfish they're going for? Catfish, yeah. It's all kinds of... And they put their arm in these fucking holes, and, and the catfish uh, bites them all the way oh, up. they pull it out? Half yeah. up, halfway up their forearm. That's how they catch these things. Can you imagine fucking doing that? Ugh. I don't like when my foot hits something at the beach that feels a little like it's not a rock yeah, yeah, right, or yeah. a shell or yeah. something. You're like, I don't know what that is. I can't get away from it fast yeah, enough. Yeah. And you don't I'm know if it's just run. part of the larger thing. Right. Like, right. You just, oh, that's just the, yes. the eyelid of yes. something <laughs> inside <laughs> of a car. Yeah, you don't want to. Oh, it's fucking creepy. Something brushes against your leg, <laughs> which was probably like seaweed uh, or something. Yeah, but yeah. to I, me, it's a giant monster. I yeah. just wear crunchy shoes now. Just crunch everything. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think that's to, a good idea to wear those. Uh, I like those scuba that, booties that zip all up that. on the side. Yeah, why the fuck would you go out there It makes you feel safe. I used to be petrified of I didn't even know where they are, where they're fucking indigenous right. to. I, I was stepping on a rockfish because oh, I heard like on. rockfish has those yeah, spines yeah, yeah, right and they you. put poison in you yeah. and you're pretty much dead. Yeah. I'd be at the beach just going, oh, I'm going to step yeah. on a rockfish. <laughs> really? Yeah, I, I always thought I was stepping on a rockfish. Or even fucking kid. jellyfish, man. I they hurt. They, yes. I never got bit on one of those. Never. Those are terrible. Oh, they no. fucking suck when you get stung. Or barracudas or that, more, more of eels, and whatever, we, all of it. Long all Island, of it. we had horseshoe crabs, mm -hmm. too. They're not going to hurt you, though. I know, but as a kid, it's that big spiny thing, and your friends tell you they fucking stab you with it's it. It's terrifying looking. It is. Mm. But they're, like, they're very slow. Oh, yeah. But maybe in the water. In the water, know. you're very slow. <laughs> Try, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. And that's just another thing. Like, you could be king shit on dry land. Yeah. You're fucking top of the food you, chain and everything. You drop quite a few levels uh, as oh, far yeah. as the right. food chain goes, you're, 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 you're a bullion cube. Yeah. Yes. Mar yeah. Yeah. You should go diving. And I you'll should. realize that, you know, first of all, it's almost impossible to see a fucking fish. I don't even know where the fuck I they snorkel. all are. I snorkel. Oh. And if you do see a fish, you realize they, they fucking run away from, run away. They swim yeah, away from you immediately. Oh. They're scared shitless of But us. I went snorkeling in uh, Kauai, and I like doing it. Right. But, you know, when you get the snorkel going, you get out on the reef, and then you see that drop off at yeah. the edge of the reef. Cool, yeah. right? And then, it, yeah, it's cool, but still, like, I can't stop from seeing something coming out of that dark. You right. look out there, that, and you're like, that's just a mouth. It's never ending. You, yeah. Yes. And something could just come right at me, right and at me. what am I going to do? And it's always huge. Yes. Right. Giant. Like, it's something like that you've <sighs> never seen before. Like, you, you've imagined yeah. it. You'd be looking, going, what, what, what is, is that something moving? <laughs> and then before you know it, yeah. it's like, oh, my God, it's a giant monster coming for right. me. A, a monster. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like the whole island just yeah. lifts up. You think it's a tiny yes. fish, and then it's the big reveal where it's as big right. as a fucking it's giant. Yeah, the tiny yeah. fish is just on it, some sort and of weird doing, line. Line. doing that right. thing <laughs> coming at you. Back yeah, 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 yeah. Swimming, and you're like, I can't fucking outrun yeah, this. It's just bubbles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just go. <laughs> just fucking petrified, <laughs> screaming underwater. Just, a, just cloud of blood. Yeah, cloud of blood. Watching your own blood rise up around you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Half of you starts bobbing. Oh, it's just horrible. Your girlfriend's like waving. What do you die bottom. from first? Like the loss of blood for being bitten in half, or do you drown, or what the? F it just seems uh, Either like way, something it's only a few I don't seconds want. For you to think about it. I would gather, right? <laughs> Can't breathe, uh, and I'm half gone. No. Mark, you've been busy. Holy yeah, yeah, yeah. shit! <laughs> right there, I'm doing. Uh, I'm doing. Like Man. I'm here because I'm doing panel on Letterman for the first time ever on oh, Wednesday. Oh, nice. congratulations on that! Yeah, it's been a lot of things where where you know you spend your like I've done stand up on there a few uh -huh. times over the 25 years, but not a lot. Are you nervous doing panel? Well, I, I'm, I know how to do it, but it's Dave, you know, and he's like my guy. Yeah. You know, and I've been watching him since day one when yeah. I was in college. And as a comic, you're sort of like when when he moved, 
And he only, he only took a few panel guys with him as far as for stand-up. So like my, I thought in my mind, well, that's over. I'm never going to do panel with him. Right. Like, uh, and now it's happening, and I feel like, all right, so I can quit? Like, I think, like there's part <laughs> yeah. of me that feels like that was some great goal achieved. Mm-hmm. I mean, hopefully I don't get bumped or something. But, yeah, I'm nervous because I want to, you know, I, I mean, he's the best, so I don't think I'm going to flounder. You won't get bumped for a panel. I don't think so. Nah. But, uh, you know, I'm just trying to figure out what uh, what things to do because yeah, I want to do well. And I want because I get a little I don't get nervous, but I know I'm going to be sitting there like I did Jay Leno for the first time ever. And, I, you know, I don't really watch Jay. And, uh-huh. and but when I was pushing the book and pushing the show, I'm like, yeah, well, why not do it? And it was kind of interesting because he came into the dressing room. Before I went on for like a half hour. Yeah, we, talk, had, we, had, we had that. We couldn't believe it. Me and Ann talked about it after the fact going, don't you have a show oh, yeah, to, yeah. To, 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 right. to prepare for? He's hanging out, having a good old time. I'm like, holy fuck, when does he get ready? Yeah, he's there, <laughs> what, standing there in his denim shirt. <laughs> yes. 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 We had all the same experience. He was talking cars and he was talking about uh, you know shock jocks right. and radio and just whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, I love that. I love that. Yeah, radio. Yeah. 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 But, yeah, but he, was th- he came backstage. He's like, yeah, I didn't think you'd do this. I didn't think you'd do my show. I thought you Oh, like yeah, it. the Tonight Show. Right, yeah, sure. I didn't think you'd well, he thought I was in Conan camp. Oh, or what, okay. You know, like he thought I was part of, you know, on some level I never sought to do it because I just didn't watch it. Right. And it was not, you know, and, and whatever. I didn't. I, I was I was not doing it on principle. Right. <laughs> that, that was the truth. <laughs> but then, like, you know, when all of a sudden you have an opportunity, like you know, I'm pushing the book and I, yeah, you know, I got yeah. the show and I'm going to do panel and I have to do stand-up. I'm like, why not? It's still the Tonight Show. And and I, and I have that moment, you know, the, the feeling, well, don't matter who the host is, where, you know, you see people on TV and then when you're sitting there right next to them and the cameras are on, oh, man. It's, it's like you think you're just talking to somebody, but you're not. It's crazy. Yeah, everything is heightened and, you know, and it's yeah, happening yeah. in the moment and oh. you're like, oh, my God, he's right there. And I, with Dave, I, I, have to, <laughs> I have to hide that shit. Because yeah. you can't sit there and go, oh, my God, <laughs> you're right there. You know, it, I that would be that a great me. way to open it. <laughs> oh, my God, you're right here. You're right there. That would I be see funny. This on, I see this on television. Yeah, I saw you on the thing. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah, but I do have that feeling. That's and, the, it's and, uh, the weirdest thing. You're right, because you're sitting there looking at the face. Yeah. And, and words are coming out of your mouth. You're talking. Right. But you're thinking like, Holy shit, am I doing this? <laughs> exactly. Like, this is what I've watched. Are people watching this right. and seeing me like I saw other people sitting there? Yeah. And then you're yeah. just like, this is the most oddest fucking thing I ever. I get so nervous that I relax. It's almost like it's like sure. I, I'm so doomed yeah. to fail. <laughs> I, I feel like somebody who's about to be executed and has resigned himself to the fact that my brains are going to be splattered. Right. And that helps sometimes. Well, wow. yeah, when you get when you get so anxious or nervous about something and you and you just go into a weird paralysis. Like you just hit this peak and you're like, Ugh. like you like yeah. you're in a you're like you're, you're locked in accepting your fate. But it happens with Conan too where I'm sitting there looking at him because I don't know what you expect them to do. You know, because they do, they're doing that every night. Right, it's that's like their you, know, job, you guys yeah. do this every day, right? So, but you know, you're like, you know, I've never talked to this guy before. So you're all, you're there with all this juice, and he's like, yeah. and you're like, are we talking? It's like, and then you realize that he fucking does this every night. Right. This is his audience. There's a camera there. He this is, sees it all the time. Yeah, it's not you're Mark Marin night. It's not the Mark Marin <laughs> show for a night. Yeah, I'm just a guy passing through. Yeah, yeah. It's hard for them to get juiced when I'm sitting there too. It's like <laughs> Tom Cruise is here tomorrow yeah, in this. Yeah. Scene. <laughs> what do I expect out of this guy? I'm lucky he's not you, spitting it's on like me. The most important <laughs> moment right then and there. It's uh, so important to you. And then them, it's like Tuesday. Yeah, exactly. Who are you on with, you know? Uh, I don't. Can we look it up? Yeah, I always like to check. I know, Wednesday. Uh, but, you know, it was it was a pretty good experience. But that's that's true, man, because, like, you get done and you're like, huh? Huh? Ah. And then it's just people cleaning up. Like, you, oh, you know, it's fuck, like another yeah. day. No, it was my day. That was my day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's very, very big for me. Can you step aside? We got to put the bands. Got to go in. Because uh, uh, the they're uh, looking uh, at your segment the same way with the same weight they looked at the monologue. Yeah, don't matter. And segment yeah, yeah. two, like okay, Marin's segment was good, but segment three we got to. It's just one of five yeah, segments for yeah. Tuesday. Yeah. Well, <laughs> exactly. You know? To you, uh, it's your yeah, life. You got this? Jamie Fox. Oh, okay. You Backstreet got, Boys. Backstreet Boys top ten. Yeah, they'll be there for the top ten. All right. Then you got the Mark Marin. I'm on after Jamie. Mm-hmm. And then what, and him. what's the last thing? Yeah. Wale. Huh? Wale. Who's that? He's a performer. He's like a rapper. Oh, it's a, okay. All right, going to pull into a new audience. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cuts out of your demo a little bit. But... Do you know Jamie? 
I, I, uh, I'm sure the, he knows you. Uh, the only experience I had with Jamie is uh, I, you know, I saw him in the like the ambassador lounge at an airport, and I think in <laughs> Austin. And he looked hungover and tired, and, and I made the choice not to bother him. But I uh, stared at him for a while. Good one. Yeah. No, so I don't know him at all. Yeah, I've never met him either. He used to be a funny guy. Yeah. You know, but he's, he's a very talented man, that guy. You comics don't usually, like I had to do, I was doing Leno panel. It was my second, I, I have only done it a couple of times panel. And I was supposed to be Jenna Fisher, but she canceled. Yeah. And they called Day Of, and they say, look, it's going to be Bill Maher. And I'm like, fuck, another comic? Because you yeah. at the time it was McCain. It was during the early 2008. So he was loaded up for Bear, that guy. But, but, but I'm like, fuck, man. And, and they, cause they knew what the topics I was going to discuss. Yeah. So they're like, well, you know, he's going to hit on McCain and he's going to hit on Obama. Right. So I'm like, what the fuck? Right. I have to restructure right. this. But he was so oh. good, man. Like, sitting next to him, you don't know what a guy's going to be Mark. like. Was, He's a pro. But he was really supportive. <laughs> like, he wasn't a dick trying to outdo He was having fun with it. Like, comics are usually good to each other, mm. as long as there's no fucking prior hatred there. Right. So I'm sure Jamie will be fine. No, he's but he's an actor now. I mean, I and he's also very funny. But I mean, he seems to be at some other level. Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't. I wonder when the last time he did comedy really was. It's been Does a while. I think it's probably been a while. long time. Yeah, I, I'm just happy if I'm on the show with somebody who I know who they are, <laughs> one, and that, that I have some respect for. It's yeah, great. yeah. You uh, know, well, I got to go back to the lake thing for you because you said nothing well, could you nothing could hurt you in the lake. Okay, okay. I forgot. I I forgot for a second. My brother's a marine biologist. And oh, he just you wrote, forgot that. I did forget that for a second. <laughs> he just texted me. He said, uh, "I think it's uh, pronounced musk." Muscle lunge will take your arm off in a lake. A muscle lunge? So I Is just want to. I want a Google image. Muscle lunge. Let's get, get that up get there. That M U S K E L. That should be the muscle part, and then lunge. L U N G E. It's dice. Is that a replay? I don't know. I'm What's saying, he, is he on? in New York? I think it's a replay. I think, uh, I think they're on vacation. Yeah, I think they're on vacation. All right, Google image nice. this. This, is, this thing will take your arm off in a leg. There you go. Yeah, fucking dice in his sunglasses and knickers. Yeah. 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 And I was, he looks he serious. Looks thin. He, he looks good, yeah. Yeah, oh, that's going to be. Oh, God. Uh, there you go. That's a monster. Looks like a barracuda mixed Wow, mixed look at them teeth. A big like thank a you to my brother. A sturgeon. Holy. Yeah. Oh, I didn't, I didn't need to know that's in a lake. It's a troutacuda. Yeah. A troutacuda. <laughs> yeah. I didn't need to know this. Yeah. I kind of uh, felt like lakes are, were kind of a uh, safe haven. And he said that could take your arm off? No problem, he said. No problem. No problem. Look at the teeth on the yeah, fucking thing. Awesome. big teeth. They, let me see that thing, though. Look at that guy. He looks like this just ate my child. <laughs> yeah. He does look disturbed. Yeah, he he's looks very dump scared. dump the boy out all over the dock. <laughs> 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 That'll take your arm off. Muscle lunge. Yeah, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. License I plate. Know, if, uh, How do you spell it? M U S K E L L U N G E. Oh, yeah, I did that from my brain, by the way. Just now. Uh, well, I got a text from my fiance. Aww. Aww. Just woke Aww. up on the couch. Miss you so much. Aww. Aww. She always falls asleep on the couch. She doesn't like to go into bed without me. <laughs> wow, you trouble. got it. Yeah. You got it bad. Have you had it this bad? I did years ago. That's <laughs> gone now. <laughs> that, that's all over. Yeah. I did years ago. I'm actually, yeah, I feel more affection for the actual couch than I do for people I've dated recently. <laughs> See, the sad thing is, is like I never knew this this part of me. I got to be honest with you. Wow, really? so this is new. Well, they, but I'm not sure it's a good thing. Like the last two wives, I destroyed and drained. Right. You, you know, like I, you know, I, I, I really didn't know the difference between what I wanted and uh, what they wanted. Uh -huh. you, you know, like for me. Like, I was just a selfish, angry fuck. Sure. And I think there's something I'm trying to make up for here by overcompensating to the uh, point oh, where yeah. I might as well be wearing a fucking apron all the time. Did you, now, have you, uh, have you worked through all that? Like, like you were married, obviously, and there were problems because of, of well, it can't just be one-sided, I'm sure, her. But also yourself, you seem to have been dealing with a lot of issues and anger and stuff. Have you changed? Are you a different person as far as those... Look, yeah, because, like, the thing is, is, like, you would think not because of the Washington thing. Uh-huh. But that doesn't happen much. <laughs> the Washington thing. Like the, 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 the Washington day in Washington. Incident. Yes. The Washington incident. But, but no, we're going, we're, going to, we're going to counseling. Like, I've learned that, for oh. me, like, uh, I, I think, like, date three or four should be couples counseling. Wow. So, yeah, right in. No, but, uh, but, no, we started going because, uh, you know, I couldn't get my, wrap my brain around having a baby. So we started to go for that. Huh. Here's the weirdest thing, though, man. So my buddy, who's a therapist, he recommends his therapist for us to go to couples counseling to work through stuff, right? So I go to this guy, and we both go, and it's it's a good start. And he says, you know, you know, my wife is also a therapist, and, you know, we can see you together. 
Oh. Like, you know, if you want, if he, and he, mm. he said that J- Jessica, my fiance, could see his wife and I could see him and then we could all meet together. That's everything. weird. But it, it makes sense. But it is fucking okay, weird. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you're sort of like, you know, when you, when we all meet together, it's sort of like a dinner party where there's no food and I'm losing money. <laughs> <laughs> you're, like, yeah, yeah. you're paying the tab. But there's yeah. this weird. Uh, but it's, but what's going to be a secret, though? Like, what if you say something to him in confidence and then all of a sudden it comes out with the four of you? Like, well, you sign a weird thing. Like, there, like, there's definitely a team thing because every time we go, you know, especially if we meet with both of them, you know, she's already made him the enemy. So, but I think that's kind of the genius of it. Like, you know, it's like he doesn't get me at all. And mm. I'm like, oh, really? I don't know. If, I think he, yeah. they, I told him some stuff. So, uh, but I don't know what they talk about, you know, together. Like, I, I'd like to think we leave and they sit there and go, all right, here's the angle. Right, right. But I, I don't fucking know. But I'm not, look, I'm not, you know, yeah, there's some things I have to assume. What do you have they're... to sign this weird? <laughs> well, you got to say that they can talk about you guys. Oh, okay. Like, you know, that it's a collective thing. Like, so they're you going to oh, discuss. Oh, stop breaking doctor patient confidentiality. Right, okay. right with the yeah. two of them. Yeah. You know? oh, so you guys leave, forget about it. They're probably like, well, they are happen. doomed. They are <laughs> fucking doomed. Yeah. Yeah, that's what There's I think. a huge problem there. Oh, you think he's bad? Wait till you find out what the fuck she's on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they do this. They probably, they probably talk about it while yeah. they're fucking. And, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's the only way they could get off is, <laughs> like, discussing other yeah. couples' misery. Well, uh, there was one point where, like, you know, like, they were, she was talking, and I was starting to steam, man. Oh, and, they, shit. And, like, and like, you know, you got to let them talk. And I'm like, oh, that's fucking ridiculous. That's yeah. bullshit. And then, like, literally, <laughs> you know, I don't remember who was guiding the question, but the wife and the therapist couple, she goes, this isn't going well. And I'm like, oh, you mean you don't have a plan? Someone's got to have a plan because I'm about to fucking leave. Oh, so, shit. So, uh, you know, I didn't leave. Yeah. But, like, okay, so, but the anger thing is better. You know, we are, we're, 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 we're not, right. we're, we're not doing that. You're not in Things that are better. Angry the, thing, I don't, the XY thing is done. You know, I wrote the book. There's stuff in there. You know, I, that book, like, for me, was a purging. Like, my father's not talking to me. Oh, the XY, wow. Yeah. Why? Yeah, yeah, I think I threw him under the bus a little. What'd you say about <laughs> him that he objected to? Everything. Oh, really? Okay. Well, yeah, because, like, well, you know, like, I was doing shows and stuff. Like, my father has never paid attention. I don't even think he fucking listened to the podcast, and he's been on three of them. Oh, shit. Like, I didn't tell him he was on, but who cares? Right. So, <laughs> but the thing was is that when he started to get wind that the IFC show had a character in there based on him, that, I, that who was a bipolar kind of guy, mm. but it was Judd Hirsch. I mean, I, I, arguably a better father. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Yeah. yeah. You know, but uh you know, but he got wind of it like he and then I was, I start getting these emails. Like I told him I said, you know, there's a couple episodes with the dad character, but I went easy and you know, I'm not you know, he was concerned that I would reveal certain things that I I wouldn't do it. But, you know, I don't think, you know, the bipolar thing is, you know, it's not a big secret. I mean, like my friend Mark Spitz says, it's like, it's like diabetes. Everyone's fucking bipolar. Right. 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 Plus, it's also a fictional slash real character. Right, right. Yeah. There was a lot of fiction to it. But, yeah, yeah but so he got wind of that and he got, started getting nervous. Right. So about a week mm. before the show goes on, I get this call. He's like, so what did you do? I mean, I, you know, what did you say on the show? I was like, it's going to be fine. He goes, what, what, what channel is it on? And I go, it's on IFC. He goes, no one gets that, right? I don't get that. Oh, oh, right? but, not, but not even thinking it was a, an insult. Right, he was right, like, right. Oh, I'll be all uh-huh. right because no one will see it. So then, like, the commercials start running. I get an email. He's like, you know, a lawyer friend saw the commercial. And, you know, I'm not going to go that route. But I'm just saying that, you know, maybe we, like, he, he wanted to negotiate something. Right. right. Your dad? Yeah. He like, no, no, he wanted, he said, I might sue you, right, basically. But then it got all crazy. He was just freaking I out guess. because he's like, he's crazy. He's a megalomaniacal guy. So he thought, you know, it was all about him. And then all of a sudden, he started paying more attention to me in that week than he ever had in my entire life. He had a Google search on me. He was like sending me emails going, you know, I just read the thing from 1997. Very interesting. Like, he, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> like because yeah. he, he felt like you know, like I gotta, you know, I gotta see how he's gonna t- right. take me on. So he watched and did everything. Is he self-centered? Yeah, he's self-centered. He's he's bipolar, and you know, he's completely narcissistic. <laughs> and I think Ugh. like he, I think he just saw me as a limb. You know, like a limb that got away. Like that's my other hand. Wait, can I, can I stop you for a second? What kind of relationship did you guys have? What kind of father was he? Just give us the basics here. Well, you when know, you were growing up, he was a guy that uh, was very self-involved. He was a doctor, so you know he was always out. You know, but uh, you know when he was around, everything sort of revolved around whatever thing he was doing, whether it was rage or whether it was you know, hey, let's go skiing. It's very weird when you have a, a manic depressive father because you know when they plan it, they're excited, but the vacation uh, might be sad. You wow. Know, Right. Yeah, yeah. We're going to Yosemite. And then, like, weeks later, you're in Yosemite. Like, yeah, I want to 
live. Sounds <laughs> 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 like, like a good idea. Oh my god! I don't want to but uh, <laughs> I, I, I knew uh, that'd be a horrible vacation. I, I knew there was a reason why I liked you. You're, but you uh, got, I got that too. I, I got a mom. Oh, very with similar. The bipolar? Very similar shit. Yeah, it's weird. She's got OCD and other things going on. I don't know, but it's always about her. Always, right. Right. So always, always. Now I wrote this book and like I'm reading it. See, I want to write a book, but I'm waiting for the day that she dies. Yeah, you should just write it, and then she uh, dies. You have a final chapter. Uh, well, no, I think that maybe you can kill her while she's alive. Uh, <laughs> yeah, emotionally, she is, she's aware enough that she knows that you know there will be some kind of book eventually. Yeah, you know, I mean, me and Aunt still got to write a book, and yeah, I, I want to write dearest. a separate book, and but she's aware, but she's sort of hinted like, can you maybe uh, wait till you know? I you know, but I know that, I'm not around yeah, anymore. Yeah. yeah, I know that I feel bad she, because I'm not talking to him. Like, he's not talking to me. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, I didn't need to interrupt. No, 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 you didn't really. Oh. How, is, how, how, how much older is he than you? It's just a few years. Uh, <laughs> just basic. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. he's like, uh, what is he? He's like 75, right, yeah, maybe. So, yeah, he had like, relatively I, young now. But in my mind, I went easy on him. But it was still pretty gnarly. Because, you know, mm. cause it's hard when you write memoir stuff. It's like, this is my life. There are other people involved in it. You know, how much are well, you going to... what was the story that got him? He just, I don't even know if he read it. You know, he talked to my brother, and he claims that he didn't read it. He hasn't watched the show or anything else. But, uh, you know, I, I put one of his uh, crazy emails in there. Uh-huh. And, uh, you know, I told the story about, uh, you know, uh, you know about uh, his father's funeral that I was at, you know, and, and something he did. And just, you know, I, I think I feel a little guilty, but, you know, I, I feel good about it. Because, you know, there's part of me that thinks, like, this had to happen. You know, now he knows I'm a separate person. And mm-hmm. now he knows that, you know, maybe uh, who I got to call him. Let's do it on the air. <laughs> <laughs> I got to call the guy. It's uh, Because, you know, when you do something, there's part of me that thinks, like, you know, when you, you take, you do something and you realize, like, oh, fuck, there's no putting that back. Right. Uh-huh. Sure. Yeah, that's done. Do you, does your brain ever slow down? I, I know we've asked you over the years. Yeah, yeah, it does. Because there's always something going on in your head. How, yeah. do, how do you get it to slow down and just, just like, fucking <sighs> chill? Yeah, just lock in on porn. <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah, some porn. Yeah. <laughs> And no, it, like, and it I, shuts down everything else that's going on. I kind of because you're a brilliant comic, and the, well, one of the nice reasons yet. you really are, and one of the reasons you always got shit going on in your head. Yeah, but it's always about me, and sometimes I think that's draining. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're like I, recently, I've hit this wall where I'm doing the pie because I'm doing my stand up. I'm like, I gotta start thinking, you know, watching television or something. I'm, doing I'm, I'm something. Out. Yeah. yeah, I don't know how much crisis I can generate. I was on stage in Buffalo, and I had this moment where I'm like, I am so sick of hearing about myself. <laughs> <laughs> I can't yeah. fucking take it anymore. Yeah. And I said that to the audience. I started a bit, and I'm like, I can't do this. <laughs> and, I, and they're looking at me, and most of them are my people. And I'm like, I don't know what we're going to do right now. <laughs> and they're like, I, what the fuck is happening? And for like 45 seconds, I'm like, just wait this out. Just wait it out. That's awesome. I would have loved and to see that. And they're just like They're just stand, what, sitting there. Nice. But luckily, you know, now you know, enough people are familiar with me where they're uh-huh. like, yeah, he does this sometimes. But, uh, but like, I was like, all right, all right, all right. And then I sort of I, I locked into talking about the buffalo wings or something, but I'm just tired of it. There are times <laughs> where I envy Seinfeld. Like it must be so nice because you obsess over yourself, or I obsess over myself. Right. It must be so nice to just look at everything else right. and find them interesting. Right. Like, uh-huh. like I used to do politics. I used to do everything. At some point, I'm like, you know, none of that matters because I'm the problem. <laughs> So let's talk about me as if I'm a country. Right. <laughs> right, right, right. And uh, and now I'm, I'm getting to that point where I'm, like, exhausted. It's exhausting. It's very exhausting to always have to find new things to not only talk about, but find the twist in and make funny and make interesting. Right. Yeah. It's a very tough thing to do. Wow. I have to start looking at other stuff like the Kardashian yeah. problem. You know, yeah, so <laughs> once, once in a while, <laughs> something yeah, like, else is interesting. And it's hard. I'm, I'm out of the dialogue. I literally am I'm so consumed on Twitter with fucking, you know, uh, you know my, my shame parade. On Twitter, well. you know, engaging. You do it too, but I mean, you seem to have more fortitude with it. But you know, I, I don't get like I don't think I got the news about Paula Dean until I saw your fucking Twitter feed. I'm like, well, did something happen? You know, and I have to go over there and like yeah, you know, get yeah, caught yeah. up. Like I'm that detached. Yeah, you need to you know, like plug I gotta in watch the news a little bit. What do you think of right. Paula Dean? What do you think of that whole situation? Well, she's you know, a little ignorant and very insensitive. But it's something you know, she did 30 years ago, man. No, I mean, it, it's a, I, it's going to take a long time for for. for and it wasn't people, even that bad what she did. For be, yeah, for people like her to, to culturally sort of grow up. I don't think that she hates black people. I don't think that she's oh, yeah, a right. racist. I just think she comes from a different time. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. 
Wow. Yeah, that's what I think on her. I thing. can't get enough of the tightrope guy. Oh, that guy. Who's going to be on our show tomorrow, by the way? Nick Willenda will be in studio. Yeah, he'll be in here you tomorrow. You see the great piece of tape across and then a clap while he walks. Wow. Oh, yeah, good apparently, one, Jim. Uh, apparently Jesus did it. <laughs> yeah. Right? You saw it, right? I did. Yeah, that was amazing to watch. It's I, I, and, 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 Lord, I don't know how the fuck they do it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. But the, but Lord, the sad thing Savior. about something like that is that if he did fall off, people have been like, well, you know, it It'd be a better show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, it happens. What do you think was going to happen? Imagine, yeah. imagine if his mantra That's what we were all half waiting for. Right, yeah, yeah, Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah completely. <laughs> but his mantra is, Jesus, I love you. Thank you for the wind. Imagine if his mantra was, eat a bag of shit. <laughs> fuck your mother's cunt, you piece of garbage. <laughs> Die of AIDS. Die of AIDS. It was all my inner dialogue. <laughs> That's pretty amazing shit, though. But New York City shut him down. We're not going to deal with his crap. No. I, I, I He's not tight I think Bloomberg's sort of like in New York in general is like, do we need to have problems we don't need to have? Right, right. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's enough shit getting... going on. Do we have to have, like, you know, clutter the streets? Yeah, we don't have to yeah. import problems. You know, like, from I the outside. The guy outside. who did it between the towers, he did that Philippe completely. Petit. Yeah, he just, yeah. He 1974. Just but that was in the days before, you know, like you, Security. you go up with your fucking equipment. Yeah, and it's like no one stopped him. He, had, he, he, was, bringing, set up a he, was, he was bringing a whole tightrope right? into the yeah. Twin Towers. No one throw, stopped him. They yeah, they, a no up arrow. An they arrow. started with an arrow and then they, uh, whatever. Yeah. I saw the documentary. It was wonderful. That's no one city would do the tightrope thing would be Buffalo. Bring sure. it back around. <laughs> if you could find a building that Buffalo high. is begging yeah. for Nick. Why did he do the falls? Well, they did I the falls. You, oh, they did? Yeah, he they did. did uh, he but, did the falls, but yeah. they forced him to wear a safety uh, wire. Oh, I love the and falls. And it was on ABC. But I'm, I'm telling you, I think Buffalo. I had Ted's hot dogs. Excellent. I had the. <laughs> Can I tell you something? <laughs> what? Go back to Niagara Falls in the winter when the whole thing's frozen. Is that great? Holy fuck. It's, it's really great. all frozen? The just, whole thing freezes. So no boat. You just walk out there? Can you walk on the water? Well, not, not the, the, water, whole, not the whole thing, but I mean, the falls itself is frozen. The water's still coming down uh, behind it, obviously. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. The outer yeah, uh, it shell is It's a frozen. rush, man. It's a rush. Did you go right to the side? Yeah. Yeah, we were on the boat. We're on the no, boat. up top where you see the yeah, water yeah, yeah. and right yeah, at that fucking to, corner. Right, I have to fight the urge to jump. Yeah, wow. is that What's weird? Up with that? Is you that don't weird? have that. If I'm on no, a high building, like, I think about it. You're like, I think most people says it. You got think most people have that. Right, no, you don't, but right. you think like I really. Th the sad thing about me is, I think if I were hanging off a building, that like in my mind would be like it's easier to let go. Wow, like, 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 like to I climb did, back up, right? And... Then they're like, oh, because then wow. it's just there's some part of me that's like just. Just let go. It's funny, okay. that's the exact opposite reaction I have uh, for everything in my life that's in turmoil. And that's the, that's the proper reaction. Uh, Just let go. Uh, 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 <laughs> you just have me thinking that it's on a building. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mark, man. That uh, podcast is terrific, by the way. Yes. It, you're still going strong. Oh, it's 400 crazy. episodes. Yeah. Good for you. The Iggy Pop thing's pretty good. Cheech and Chong on Thursday. Yeah, you tell me a little bit about that behind the scenes here. Nice yeah, i got to tell you something. Uh, this fucking movie what? industry what? is crazy. Uh, bad? Uh, it's is crazy means bad? Yeah. It's amazing that you, because you, you hear it's like, oh, this film cost, it had a budget of uh, $50 million, uh, $100 million. And then you look. These people have been standing around milling about the hallways yeah. for hours. And, and any time I've been on a, a movie set, it's the same thing. It's a lot of people, more people than it really seems like they need. Yeah. Milling about yeah. for hours. Hi, Kenny. Yeah, to shoot for two seconds. Yes. Usually. Yeah, it's yes. crazy. Kenny? They told a funny story about when Jim uh, did his fight scene with Dominic. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, how your pants kept falling down and they were seen. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I told him I had what to sign. What show was that? That was on Board of Death when oh, right. um, okay. Lombardozzi yes. and I did that. We kidnapped Jason Schwartz. You got the same crew here? They remember one, one of the guys oh, was yeah, on. Oh, yeah, Very cool. And I had to sign a nudity waiver. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The camera. They were all like local New York people and. The camera guy worked on uh, Sling Blade. Did he, he really? He filmed, uh, yeah, he was the camera guy for Sling Blade. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was talking to him outside. It's cool. He said during the... We have Carl the fuck, on the board. Get the fuck out! Get it's the it. fuck out! During that scene, he was looking at him, at the cameraman, and he came over later. Uh, Dwight Yoakam and said, like, I just needed someone to look at. Wow. That's pretty cool. And the kid, he was, you know, pretty young back then. It was 90, what, three or I something like that? Badly. And he was it's like, he's like, why is he yelling right. at me? <laughs> wow. You got to wrap here, right? Yeah, we gotta take yeah, a break. Come in and shut up. Yeah, they're gonna. Uh, are we, come oh, one of us today? Plugs. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, we're throwing. We might out, be done today. We're not sure. We don't know. They might have to set up. <laughs> okay. We have no idea, but just get the plug in just in case. Oh, the plug is uh, the last two shows in my IFC show. Marin are going to be on this Friday. The book Attempting Normal is available. Uh, I are you will happy be... with book sales? 
Yeah, everything's going pretty good. You know, it's not. Are you, people still buying books? Yeah, kind of. Kind of. Uh, yeah, I think digitally it, downloading. Yeah, it and it's stuff? going well. You good. know, people are liking the book. The people that you know, the, the exciting thing about the book and the show is that like, there's a lot of people like I didn't know who the fuck you were. Mm. Like, like this, you get in this bubble. You think like, how could people not know who, who I am? <laughs> right, right, come right. on. And then, and then you're like, why would they know who I am? Right. But so yeah, so the, it's all going good. Yeah, everything's fine I, in terms of yeah. I'll be on Letterman on Wednesday. So thanks Very for having cool. me. Absolutely. I've been watching I'm, the I'm roller coaster character. for a long time with you. <laughs> You're a fucking blast. <laughs> Thanks. We, we love, love you, brother. Yeah. I have one plug. Yes. Jimmy. Antisocial. Uh, uh, the first show sold out. It's myself, Amy Schumer, uh, Artie Lang, and a David Tell. Uh, July 20th in uh, the Sands Casino in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Second show is on sale and selling very well. So uh, if you want to just uh, go get tickets off Ticketmaster. Okay. Great. It's going to be a lot of fun, laughs, <laughs> good <laughs> times. Okay. Good times. Look at the little guy. I got a piss oh. desperately. All right. We might be back. We don't know. Yeah, we don't sure. know what the hell's yeah. going on with this, uh, yeah. this big uh, Chris Rock thing today. But, what yeah. are people supposed to do? I don't know. They might come back. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. a good tease, They'll right? stick around or don't. They're like, we don't, they're, they're like ah, <laughs> whatever. We don't give whatever. a fuck. Yeah. All right. We got it. The Opie and Anthony Show will return in a moment. After all, millions have been pissed, too.